Hi guys, welcome to Patrick Pan channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a 3D model into your React application using React 3 Fiber. Let's get started. All right, let's start by creating our React project. So I'm going to using widgets. Okay, so let's cd to desktop and you can use this command npm create vid at latest. Okay, hit enter and name our project so I'm gonna use react dash 3d dash model hit enter and select a framework so we are gonna using react and using JavaScript okay next cd to react dash 3d model folder and then use this command to install all dependencies npmi hit enter and just wait a second okay so next, we are going to open our project into VS Code by using this command, code dot, hit enter. Okay, and next, we have to install the React 3 Fiber library. So let's open terminal in VS Code and using this command, npm i 3 and add react dat 3 slash fiber. And the last one is at react dash three slash dry okay hit enter so this is important package so we can import our model into our react js all right next let's go to this website sketchfab so i'm gonna put this link into description so you can go and download this model so you can go to this download button. So we're gonna using this format, GLTF. Okay, hit download button. Okay, after finishing download, so you can go to this zip file and double click to extract this file and go to this earth folder. So inside this folder, we got scene.bin file, scene.gltf file, and textures folder. So let's copy this file, okay? And go back to our project. And I'm gonna put this file into public folder. So I'm gonna open this in Fiber. Go inside public folder and paste this file here. Okay, next, let's go inside public folder and I'm gonna rename this file into a new name so I'm gonna call it earth okay and next one scene.bin we are gonna do the same as a gltf file okay so we are gonna rename to earth.bin like this and next go to earth.gltf file and then we will go to this buffer okay so you can search by using command f or control f in windows and search buffer's name. As you guys can see here, we have to change this URL name to earth.bin, so we have to match this file as its name, okay? So we're gonna change the default value to earth.bin, okay, like this, and hit save, and close this file. So next, we have to convert this gltf file into a JSX file or into a React component, so we can use in our React application. But first, you have to access to public folder by using this command cd public. Okay, and then you can use this command npx gltf jsx and follow by your earth.gltf file. Okay, earth.gltf and then hit enter. Okay, so as you guys can see here, we got the earth.jsx file. So click here and then inside this file, we have to export default this component. So if you don't use the export default, it will error, okay? So just add the default keyword here and hit save and close this file, okay? So next, let's create another terminal inside our VS Code. So you can click new terminal here and then we can use npm run dev to run our project okay and let's go to this url okay cool next we have to go to inside rc folder and go to app.css so i'm gonna get rid of this code and 
go to index.cls okay we are gonna do the same get rid of this code okay and then close it and go to app.jsx and get rid of this code here okay and next we are gonna display our 3d model inside our app.jsx file so first let's import a suspend component here and next let's import a canvas component from react 3 fiber okay and next let's import an orbit controls component okay from react 3 dry and then the last one we have to import our earth model okay so we're gonna import earth from I'm gonna go back to our public folder and access our earth component like this okay next go to our app component inside this return we're gonna call or use this canvas component like this and then let's using this component suspense like this and we're gonna add a fallback prop and then we're gonna set its value to null so inside this suspend component we can use this earth model inside this okay let's call the earth component here and then you can go back to chrome to see the result as you guys can see here, we got our model display on our website, but it's all black. So how to fix this color problem? Okay, so let's go back to VS Code. So you can use this component. It's called ambient light. Okay, hit save and go back to Chrome. As you guys can see here, we have our earth display with a color. Okay, cool. So next, if you guys notice here, I can't click or interact with the earth model right so you can add this component orbit control so let's use this component okay orbit control like this and hit save go back to chrome so as you guys can see here you can drag and interact with our model okay cool so next let's go to our app.css and i'm gonna access to canvas element and i'm gonna set the height to 100 vh okay and use this important okay hit save and go back to chrome as you guys can see here we have our beautiful earth model display correctly okay but another thing that i want to let you guys know that we can add a environment so let's go back to our app.jsx and add the environment component here so basically you can import from react 3 dry okay and then you can use the preset so i'm gonna use um, sunset okay hit save and go back to chrome as you guys can see here so our earth feel more realistic okay so as you guys can see it has a light and next you can go to this component so you can use the intensity prop here and you can set the value of it like uh, two okay so it's uh, brighter so you can set the value as you want like 10 but it's too much bright okay so I'm gonna use like 1.5 okay or you if you don't want to use you can remove this prop so when you're using this orbit controls component you can drag you can zoom in zoom out but if you wanted to zoom in or zoom out you can using this prop it call edible zoom so you can set it to false like this and go back as you guys can see you can't zoom in or zoom out but you can only drag this model okay and next let's add a background color so go to app.css i'm gonna access to body tag and using the background color property and set to um, slate gray okay cool and next you can add some information about our earth planet okay so basically you can go to after canvas I'm gonna create another diff and inside this diff I'm gonna create h1 tag and type earth and next go to the Google so I'm gonna search the earth and go to the Wikipedia okay and then I'm gonna copy this information and create p tag so paste the information there and next 
copy this information and create p tag paste it inside this p tag okay then i'm gonna create a class name called container for our information and then go to app.css so i'm gonna access to container class selector and set the mac width to 960 pixel and using the margin zero auto to center our container and then using the padding one rem and set a background color to 333 and set the font color to white okay hit save and go back to chrome as you guys can see here we have a beautiful information display here and i'm gonna set the border radius to like um 20 pixel okay and add more padding like two rem okay nice and if you guys can see here uh our canvas it's too long right so we can fix this by changing this value to like uh, 500 pixel like this okay and as you can see our earth it looks small right so you can fix the earth scale just go to earth.jsx file and go to scale i'm gonna change it to uh, like 3 or 2.5 i think Okay, awesome. We have our website that display the 3D model Earth that you can interact with and some information down here. Okay, and next let's create the footer component. So I'm going to create footer.jsx file and inside this footer, I'm going to create a p tag and we're going to type a copyright 2023. Okay. All right, we served. Okay, that's it. And then go to app.jsx and I'm going to import the footer component from footer. And we're going to call it down here. Okay, go back to Chrome. Okay, let's uh, add some style to our footer. Go to app.css, access to. So actually, I'm going to change the div tag to footer tag. Okay and access to this tag so i'm gonna use the text line center padding one rim background color 333 font color white okay hit save go back okay and let's add some margin top like two rim okay but as you guys can see here we have to remove the default margin and padding of the browser. So let's go on the top and using the universal selector and reset the margin to zero and padding zero. Set the box sizing to border box. Okay, save, go back. All right, cool. And the last component that I want to let you guys know that it's a contact shadow so you can add a shadow to our model so you can import the contact shadows uh, from a react 3 dry okay and then use this component below this environment okay and let's uh, copy this prop and paste it in here and hit save go back to chrome okay so nothing happened but i think it's uh we have to set the shadow position okay so we're gonna set the y axis like minus two i think okay but it's a uh, very dark I'm gonna use uh, like 2.5 okay cool and I think we should change um, the opacity like 0.5 okay and scale to 50 nice I think it's a uh, it's okay now okay cool all right guys that's it about in this video that i want to show you guys on how to import 
a 3D model into React application. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video is helpful for you guys that want to know how to import a 3D model inside a React application. Okay, so if this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys soon in the next video.